but I always fall in love on my boys' trips. <laughs> he said, Chili, I'm going to kill you in the game. <laughs> I love the fish fingers from this place. Shock Chili's eating fish fingers, bro. Yes, guys, I'm Josh Denzel, and we're down here in Cobham for our brand new series, On the Road with Trevac. We're going to give you a rare look inside the first team bus and find out from the players themselves what goes on exactly behind these doors. I'm like, Chili, what's going on? Let's, uh, let's get to it. It's a nice bus, boy. It is, isn't it? It's not bad, it's not bad. To be fair, this is actually where I sit. It's just like we planned it. This is my spot. This is actually my spot. You know the phrase, what goes on tour stays on tour? Yeah. Yeah. We're is scrapping it, that. Is it not stays? Series. Okay. We're scrapping that for the season. Okay, We're okay. on the team bus. Yeah, this is the constant. So I want to find out everything about what goes on. Has anyone got any weird, like, travel superstitions or stuff that they have to bring on? Because I know Shory, obviously, when he travels, he always travels with those crazy socks. Yeah, yeah. yeah everyone's got their seat. Which, you can't, don't like, change throughout, the whole, change throughout the whole time. Throughout the whole... Well, since I've been here, I've never moved seat. This is my third season, so the same in the team hotel, like team dinners. To be fair, it was quite good. The first season when I joined, I think one of the only seats that was available wasn't around people that I knew. Sick. So it was good, like it pulled me out my shell. I was sat next to Aspie and Kepa, Tiago, Georgie, which was kind of ideal really, because instead of me being in my comfort zone with like Mace and Reese and Ruben or whatever, it meant for that whole season that was my seat. And then yeah, it just really close with all of them now because I spent a whole year just having dinner with them. And now I want to get on to travel companions, yeah? Who's the most likely to be late? Give me the tea. Most likely to be late, 100% N'Golo Kante. Yeah? Without a doubt. And everyone's always so surprised. I was about to say, I thought that was like... <laughs> you thought he'd be like nailed on the on first, first yeah. one there? Nah. Because he's just so like laid back yeah, and yeah, relaxed. Too he's just so chilled. And if he comes in late to, I don't know, a meeting or late onto the coach, he just walks on and he's like, sorry. I mean, people, it's hard to be angry with him. Oh, yeah, you know, no, nah, everyone just laughs. Who's the most likely to forget the passport? So you go on like a big European trip. I've got a story personally about where. Go on. So last year, obviously, I was injured with my ACL, so I didn't fly out with the boys. I flew out the day before the game, and it was a night flight. And I've literally gone to Heathrow, met the woman who I was traveling with, who works for Chelsea, and she was like, you got your passport? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, no, I don't have it. <laughs> and the flight was in like an hour. Like This was already like, we were pushing it tight. Of all the things you check before you leave, I know. surely the passport is up there. I know. All you need I know. is the one thing you actually need for travel. I know. So I got an Uber back to, to mine, yeah. and then got my passport straight back. So yeah, to answer your question, I'll probably, you probably know, you. have to put yeah, myself yeah. up. Do you know what? Not probably. After that. It's definitely it you. definitely is. Yeah. Are, you, are you a games guy? Are you like watching? What's on the TVs? Like, are you, are you playing games with your headphones on? What's Mario on? Kart. That, that was the one. To be fair, we went through a stage last season where we were doing that. Where we were doing proper, like. Proper gaming. Like, like gaming, yeah, yeah. Like all of us together just on our DSs playing Mario Kart. And to be fair, that, that, that was fun. But then that got, that got boshed. That got boshed. Gaffer didn't like it. Nah, it was, I think it, do you know what? It's, it was just getting too competitive. <laughs> it's too much just, me. Everyone was just like getting so angry and like, to be fair, personally, I like to nap. And then I'm, I'm not trying to miss out on the game. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I also fair. want to nap and then I'm, yeah, so. This part of the show, we ask our guests some quick fire questions, yeah? Cool. Find out a bit about your holiday habit. And this is the first episode. Yeah. So you're going to set the bar high, yeah? Okay, okay. You ready? I'm going to okay. reveal all. Winter break or summer sun? Summer sun. Summer sun. I summer sun. I can't imagine you as a skiing guy, though. No. Do you know what? I went skiing twice when I was in school, and I loved it. But obviously, with footy now, we're not allowed. Oh, banned. But it's definitely something I'll do when I retire. Ooh, try new food or play it safe. I feel like I know what the answer is here. You could probably answer that one. Play it safe. Play it so safe. Play it safe. safe. <laughs> Still, to be fair, I had my first Chinese. That's an exclusive. I had my first Chinese with Mace last week. How was it? It, bro, it was It was good, like, it was nice, but it's not what it made it out to be. I'm, I'm genuinely upset because it's been such a build-up. I know, bro. that's the thing. I think the build-up was too much. So yeah, play it safe for me. Play it safe, wow. Uh, sea or swimming pool? Some people hate the sound. Swimming pool. Yeah? Yeah. Little pool Because that's the same, yeah. Same with me, I don't like, I don't want to go in the sea and then there's like sand all in, it's just sand everywhere. I'd rather just go in a nice, cool swimming pool. Late to the gate? Or feet up with time to spare? Nah, late to the gate. Yeah, your last minute, man. Last minute. I don't do it intentionally. If you've got your passport, you're comfortable. Yeah, that's the thing. It's never intentional. I always think that I leave myself enough time. 
and then it always just seems to be a rush. Scuba dive or safari? Ooh. Both of them have pros, but for me, I'd say safari. Not I think scuba of, not diving. Of, like, getting eaten much by a lion or a hyena or the mosquito. Yeah, but geez, you could get eaten by a shark. Do you know what? You make a good point. So, and also, I don't know if I feel like claustrophobic underwater. And so. scuba diving, what like what are you actually seeing? You might see the odd, odd fish. The odd fish. The bro. odd I, fish. You're not doing it in the canal, bro. You're doing it. <laughs> Some luxury. Okay, but bro, think about it. Safari. You got lions, elephants. Yeah, you know what? Okay, fair. Giraffes. You don't have any of that under the water. Go with friends or go with like a significant other. Boys trip. Yeah, it has to for be. For sure, boys trip. It has to be. You've been on a few this summer too. To be fair, I've, but I always fall in love on my boys trips. <laughs> I've so, seen it happen. So it's like, I've seen it happen. I'm kind of getting both. I, <laughs> yeah, like, it's true. I go away like with the intention of a boys trip and then day one I'm just sucked into uh, gets you. falling in love with someone. <laughs> Ordering a local language or just point at the menu? Point at the menu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or beach football or spa session. I know this, this is guaranteed. Beach football. Yeah, it has to be. Of course. Beach football was the best as well. I actually went to Athens this summer. We were just playing footy on the beach and ended up playing with like six or seven people who were all from Athens. Um, two of them played for a local team in Athens. And Sick. it's just, fun. you know what I mean? It's just fun. It's like a good way to meet people. We ended up playing for a few hours on the beach, just playing two touch. Did they realize they were playing with you, yeah? I think one of them realized. <laughs> or like, they didn't realize, and then someone came and asked for a picture, and I think they were like, like what does this guy do? Yeah, what they were like, oh, this guy's touching the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a bad football player, yeah. is he? <laughs> Do you remember your first like overnight stay in football, like your overnight trip in football? It was actually when I was on loan at Huddersfield and I had to sing because obviously it was <laughs> it was my first <laughs> what did you, what, initiation. Initiation. Oh, I, was, I was 18. I didn't know anyone in the team and I was petrified. And I remember I was sat there and I couldn't even eat my dinner. What was the song choice? It was so schoolboy as well. Oh no, you've done something. I went to Sam Smith. You just, you, you, it you, was you've, so put, you've put yourself up it there, by the so, way. So, so. Because when people have gone to Sam Smith, I bet you, the, I bet you the whole dressing room went. Ooh. Yeah, everyone went. Ooh, <laughs> right, it was Crash mad it. because I was actually sat there not eating my food, and then you know when you hear the. He's <laughs> looking around. And I was looking around, and, and, I was like, and then they were like, "Chili, pull the chair out." I had to stand on the chair, belted out Sam Smith. Gave it a good go, to be fair. Okay, fair. It's Dreadful. all about energy. Yeah. It's energy. When I watch people doing them now, yeah, yeah. if people just like embrace it. That's all you ask for. It's you know literally, I mean? ask it's for. when people are awkward, it's then makes you like. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you just like go for it. So I just thought, I was dreadful, but I went for <laughs> you it. Committed to it. Yeah. You've done loads of traveling throughout your time, in your football career, especially yeah. at Chelsea. But one away trip must stand out more than all the rest. That final in Porto 2021. I just remember there was one moment me, Reese, and Mason were just sat on the halfway line. All three of you had yeah. an unbelievable game. Yeah, we were like... You locked Mares up. Mares is still reeling now. Oh, no, no. It was a good... To be fair, I knew because I played against Riyad so many times and I've seen him a few weeks previous to the yeah. game. He said, Chile, I'm going to kill you in the game. <laughs> and you was like... So I was like, like okay, okay, break. cool, cool. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, obviously, Dad come on the pitch, best mate come on the pitch. Just like unreal, just having pictures with them. Everyone's like seeing like how proud my dad was yeah um and then we all went to the team hotel and everyone just got together and we just had like a big a big dinner um and then team party and i think we had to our flight home was at 9 a.m the next day and, who's booked that and who's booked that people, flight? people were just i don't think anyone slept a wink and you should have seen some of the eyes on that flight <laughs> it was just cross eye. it was just cross eye. it was funny Take me back to like your first memories, like your childhood memories of family holidays. But we always went to Spain. There was one year we went and we'd go to the same restaurant every night. And this is the most bizarre thing now, like looking back. But I love the fish fingers from this place. Shot chilies eating fish fingers, bro. I mean, how, how old are you? 16? It gets worse. <laughs> now, to be fair, I think I was like 10 or 11. <laughs> so I loved the fish fingers and I loved the ice cream. Yeah. And we went back every night just so I could get the fish fingers and the ice cream. And on the last day, the chef from the restaurant bought me out fish fingers in the ice cream. <laughs> nah. Fish, like, like, for my main. You munch it? And I ate it all. 
No, Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. I can't be having this. Looking back now, Red it was cards. like... <laughs> Red cards. Yeah, looking back now, it was it was strange, but it worked. It did work. I mean, I've been on holiday with you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember, like, one of the first holiday romances? You know when you're, you're in love, in it? You go on holiday yeah. and you just fall in love, whether it's at the, the computers in the, yeah. in, the, yeah. in the IT room in the nah. hotel or whatever. Yeah. Is there, is there one thing that stands out for you? I think I was 18 went to Ibiza for the first time with my boys from home um, and then a few of the boys that I played at Leicester with. Yeah. We were all just so excited. It was the first time we'd all like kind of gone away. We, yeah. we were all single. And then bang, first day. See, lock eyes with someone. See, locked eyes with this girl at the pool party and then and then that was it really. You were done for the, your boys, done. You, le you left your boys? I was done for the rest of the holiday. Now, do you know what? I was just bringing her into our motives. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I wasn't like segregating myself from the boys. She was just coming out with yeah, me and yeah. the boys. It's a lot for her to deal with. It was a lot. She <laughs> met everyone. She met all the group. And yeah, I think it was just one of them things. Came come, on, come on, give us a clue who she thought was. Thought I was in love. Came back from the holiday and it's just... And then you just... You're yeah, like, oh, this is real life. Just, you know, What's going on? Back to normality and it just never never worked out. Come on, give us, give us, give us a little I can't even give a name, but... No names, go Reality. On. Reality TV. Re reality TV. Yeah. We've deep dived into your Insta. Yeah. We found a couple of holiday snaps. Talk me through this one because you and Grillo, you're both looking pretty fresh. Because you know what? I I was I was on that holiday. Yeah. yeah. Was, <laughs> do you know what? I'm, that's like the last day as well. We don't even look like worse for wear. Do you know why you're not worse for wear? Because you slept that whole holiday. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> that's probably the most I've ever slept. What do you think, firstly? Are you having the outfit? I, I you know what? I was gonna say I love the outfit. I think the shirt's cold. Yeah. When when you're next to Greedo on holiday, because Greedo on holiday wears oh, some outrageous, some outrageous clobber. clobber. I, thought, I, I, I feel like you you're you're a style guy, but when you're in England, you keep it quite you know what I mean, quite settled. Yeah. But yeah. as soon as you go on holiday, it's like, well, I got yeah. the bright colours going on. I got the Casablanca shirt. I got this. Yeah. That's the thing. Like now in England, I'm quite lazy. I just want I just want to be comfortable. Just so tracky like bees. trackies, or if I'm going out for dinner or something, it will just be jeans and a baggy t-shirt. Whereas like when I go on holiday. You think about every you outfit. Think about Are you one of the people outfit. who do you plan it before you go yeah, out? Yeah, I like, plan on outfits. Monday we're in this, Tuesday yeah. we're in this. Chili, my bro, thank you so much for joining us. My guy. You know what? I'm going to get the, the coach driver to drive us to get a Chinese, yeah? Because I've, I've got a spot for you. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get on the road. Let's get on the road. <laughs>